Now that we have the main corridor modeled for London Road, uh, let's look at some of the side roads here. There's a church road here and Forest Court Road and some side roads that tie into this main corridor. We're going to look at a way to kind of clean these areas up, specifically how to remove the end conditions and some of the shoulder components from the main corridor. So I want to quickly look at this template. So I'm going to open it to edit. And when this pops up, we can see here that we have some end conditions. And specifically, what I want to look at is, is these null points here at the top. These null points are designed to seek and find a specific feature. In this case, it's looking for the match line feature definition, and it has a horizontal feature constraint that looks 100 units to the right. And once it finds that feature, we have some uh, display rules that will turn off some of these components. I'm going to right click and use test point controls and use the test horizontal point control. As you see, once I offset it to the right, some of the components disappear. If we zoom in here, you can look at this component and double click on it. Notice it has a display rule. So when that null point is offset to the right, that display rule gets kicked into place and it removes these components. If you look at this null point, you notice it has a negative sign in front of it, but it is also looking 100 units. In this case, it's feet to the left since it's negative, and it's also looking for the match line feature definition. So if we were to move it, just like we did the other one, once it goes to the left and finds that match line feature, uh, those components will disappear. That's how we have our template set up. I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here. And as you can see in the model, this is actually coming from a reference file. So I hover over here. You can see that this feature has a match line feature definition. So what we want to do here is add this feature as a corridor reference. So to do that, there's the corridor reference button here. I'm going to toggle it on. It prompts me to locate the corridor. I will select it and locate the first reference. So let me data point to click on this. And then I'm going to right mouse click to complete this command. You notice at the bottom right, the corridor is processing. And you can see that um, the shoulder component and then the end conditions got removed. And this is a way that we can um, clean up the model. And then in these areas, we can kind of tie into this main corridor. Now I want to click on the corridor handle graphic, and I'm going to use the corridor creation tools. And we can pull up some of the features in this. This little bucket icon is the one that I'm looking for. And I have the ability to add references here as well. So I'm going to click on this button, and I'm prompted to select um, some of my additional features. So I'm going to select this one. Select this one as well. It's a few others. We'll grab those. Grab this one as well. I think that's it. And now I'm going to reset to complete. And the corridor should process. And I expect to see the same behavior in the 3D model. So let's take a look at that. Looks like it cleaned up this area left and right here and the left side of the corridor right here. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.